Okay, so we have this problem with our barbecue cover. It's not really a problem, but this is how I'm gonna fix it. So our barbecue cover, when you pull this, tighten it, it's supposed to tighten around the bottom of the barbecue and stop it from blowing off. The problem is uh, you have to pull so hard to get this tight enough uh, and then tie it off, which is very difficult. And then it's difficult to get the uh, knot out after. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a grommet uh, right here and a grommet right here and then two on the back side. Then I'm going to attach a bungee cord using uh, a hog ring to one side with a hooks on the other side so that we can simply just run the bungee cord underneath it and make life simpler. So let's see how this works. And we don't want to lose that cover. I forget how much it costs. Yeah, we've lost them in the past. So. Yeah, and that one, <laughs> you know, they're not cheap. Yeah. So, okay, so you I got just, all your stuff here that you need? I don't know what I did with the tool I just had. Here it is. Oh. So this is the cutter. We're gonna cut a hole. Right through the, right. oh my gosh, I can't watch. And that's done. Oh, nice. And then we're going to take our, what's this called, our base, put it down, and then we put the grommet on there, and then we put this through the grommet, and then we put the top on, like so. Get it all lined up. And then there's a punch right here that folds everything over once we're back in place. Done. One grommet done. See? Wow, you made it look so easy. All right. Gonna now we we'll do it more. again. We're going to put another one right here. Okay. So, we're going to... A hole in it. Uh -huh. We're gonna get another oops, grommet right here. Put the grommet through. See, I'm changing the way the order in which I'm doing things because, and then we're gonna line that up on the base right there. Yeah, we're gonna take the punch. In. Oh, geez, <laughs> give it a whack. Okay, let's see. That's two on the back side. Nice. Now we're going to do... There we go, and then you're going to do two more. Two more on the front. Okay. But the way I got to do this now, so that they line up, is I just put these seams together. See that? The seam from the... This is the back that we just did, and now uh -huh. I've got the seam from the front. And my tool. Oops, had it upside down. My tool there. Same spot. That's done. Another grommet. Another top piece to the grommet. Put it all on the base plate. Put that in. Done. Line up the seams again, where that one is, get my cutter, put a cut there. That's sure handy. I didn't think we would ever use this kit. Yeah. It's been sitting in the shed for I, I don't know how long. I bought this kit from Princess Auto because I had to have it about 15 years ago. And this is the first time I've used it. <laughs> 15 years ago yeah came in handy for the barbecue cover and, and my wife asked me to throw it in the garbage so many times and I said but we might need it <laughs> here we are Done. let's see so now I'm gonna take a little piece of bungee and do your bungee cord thing loop it in Okay, so now I'm going to attach my bungee cord to the back side. So, <clears throat> because I don't want to uh, bungee cord with two hooks on it, because what seems to always happen is that we 
uh, when we take the barbecue cover off or, or whatever, you'll lose the bungee cord because it just comes unhooked. So we're gonna secure it with hog rings to the back and then we'll cut it and then we'll melt it and then I'll put a hook on the, so it hooks to the front. Okay. Okay, so we're, I got my hog ring ready to go. Yeah. Um, I'm just gonna need Jennifer to operate the hot ring, hog ring and I'll uh, stretch this out. Okay, and then I'll put like... And then I'll tell you when to squeeze. Okay. One hog ring, I'm gonna put a second one in now. So a hog ring is just a stainless steel crimp, basically, that holds this in place. I've got two hog rings on there. Now I gotta measure the length that I need. Around the barbecue? Around the barbecue and throw a hook on. Okay, cool. Okay, here's the finished product. We got our little bungees secured on there, on the back side. Normally I would use stainless steel um, hooks, but we seem to have run out and not realize it. So when I get more, I'll just simply change them out. Uh, these will be good enough for the meantime for our experiment to see that it works. So let's try it. Chain. Looks good. Now it won't blow away. Won't blow away. <laughs> yeah, awesome. And now that I've done my boat chore, I got a reward. Jen's Nan Bread Boat Pizza. It's Ooh. really good. So when I do boat chores, I usually get a reward. You sometimes get rewarded. It's, sometimes it's food, sometimes it's something else. <laughs> Take a bite. <laughs> think you want? Did you think you did a boat chore too? Yeah, did you help dad? Okay, you get a little piece, okay? Okay, give mommy your paw. Good boy.